Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve uncommon words from two sentences. Relatively easy problem. If you're a beginner, there's a couple things you can learn from it. But more importantly, if you wanna see my one liner Python solution at the end of this and you wanna learn some Python tips and tricks, watch until the end of the video or maybe just skip there if you want. So in terms of just parsing like the problem statement, we're given two strings, which are going to have a bunch of words separated by spaces. So that immediately tells me that we're probably going to need to take the string, use some kind of built in method. In Python, you can use split. The delimiter will, of course, be a space character. And so that will give us each word in the form of an array, which makes our life pretty easy. Now for each word, we just want to know which words only appear a single time, not a single time in this string and not a single time in this string, but it has to at most show up one time among both strings. So for example, the word sweet shows up in this string and sour also shows up in this string. Neither of those words show up in the other string. Well, actually sour shows up in the second string and it only shows up in the second string and it only shows up once. Basically, once you kind of realize that, you realize the fact that we have two separate strings doesn't actually matter. You can literally just take the first string, split it, take the second string, split it, and you can actually take the words that result from that and put them in a single array. And then if you just wanna know which ones only appear a single time, you can count the occurrences of each word, which data structure would you use? Well, can't really use an array because we need the key to be a string this time. So we're forced to use a hash map. And then at the end, we'll return every single word that has a count of one. In terms of time and space, we are gonna have to go through both input strings. Let's say each of those is N and M. So that's the time complexity. In terms of space complexity, each string is gonna be stored in the hash map. Potentially every single word is going to be distinct. In that case, the space complexity is also gonna be this. Now let me code it up. Let's start with the readable solution. So I'm gonna create a hash map, but in Python, I'm not gonna create a regular hash map. I'm gonna create a default dict where the default value is an integer. And then I'm gonna go through the word in the first string, suppose. So for word in string one, well, this is gonna give us the character. So for S1, I'm actually gonna do split first. This will return an array of the words in the first string. So I could do that. And then here with count, I can say for this word, let's increment the count by one. This is exactly why I used a default dict, because if we didn't have a default dict, here we would have to do this. We'd have to say, okay, if word is not in count, then initialize the count to zero, because we don't wanna get a key doesn't exist error from this line. So we can get rid of that just by using a default dict. And now we could copy and paste this and do the same thing for the second string. But in Python, we can do something even better. We can copy this and put it here. And for the second string, when you concatenate the result of this and the result of this, those are two arrays. In Python, you can concatenate two arrays together. That will basically append this array to the other array. Actually, I think it'll create a new array with the combination of all the values, which is fine. And then we'll do this. And then at the end, we can have an array and then we can go through every word count that we inserted in our count hash map by doing this using the built-in function dot items. And then we can say if count is equal to one to the result append the word and then return the result. So this is the readable solution. I'm gonna run this for you. It works, it's about as efficient as you can make it. Now, there are a couple things you might not be familiar with, especially if you're not like a Python person. I do cover most of this stuff, I think all of it in my Python for Coding Interviews course, if you wanna check that out. But now let me show you how to make it a bit less readable, but more concise. Let's start with this part. We can use something called list comprehension, which I think I also cover in my Python for Coding Interviews course. So I'm gonna convert this um, into this. I'm gonna build the array and return it at the same time with list comprehension. So I'm gonna copy this. We kind of structurally understand what's going on. So there's this, and then I want to add the word to the list itself. So I'm going to put word here. So for every like pair in the hash map, add the word, but only do that if the count is equal to one. So now we've cleaned this up. So this will work, but we can go even further beyond. We can get rid of this as well. We can use something called a counter in Python, which will basically do what we're doing down here. It'll take some iterable and count the occurrences of it. So this, we can take the concatenation of these two, cut that, put that in there. So we're passing a list of words into here. It'll count the occurrences of each word and put it basically into a hash map. So this will also work. 
Now at this point, do you see how we can combine these two lines? You don't need to know Python to know how to do it. Count is a variable and count is over here. Can't we just cut this and then put it over here and get this super long line? And then we're done. Now you know how some of those people create these one liner solutions. Now is this readable? Not really, but it does work. Let me run it for you. Um, here you can see it's also pretty efficient. It's more or less doing the same thing. If you're preparing for coding interviews, check out neatcode.io for a lot more and I'll see you soon.